Today we're going to be taking a look at the WeatherTech rain guards. So these are going to be great for just kind of keeping the heat a little lower in your vehicle so you can kind of crack your windows and just allow a little bit of airflow without having a direct path into your vehicle. This kit's going to come with both the driver and passenger side front windshield. So if you do want to do it for all of the different vehicles, just use our fit guide. It's going to give you the list of them. You can either buy them just the front and just the back, or you can buy them all as a kit. WeatherTech is going to provide a little bit thicker rain guard compared to some of the other ones. I actually took off my OEM ones, which as you can see, very, very thin, very flimsy, and they started to crack over time. So these aren't going to crack near as quickly as these did. Also a nice thing about these compared to the OEM ones, as you can see, all that glue and stuff. So these actually sat up top so it wasn't as near as aerodynamic as the weather tech so this is going to bring my wind noise down a lot and it is very low profile so you can see the difference between the one that goes on the inside of the little channel compared to the one right behind you which is on the outside like i was talking about before i like the look of the weather techs better and this is not as efficient when it comes to aerodynamics so we're getting the same amount of benefit as the OEM ones. We just get a better looking one. It's a nice dark tent, a little bit darker than these right here. And overall, it's just gonna add to the look of my car, which is kind of what I was going for. All of them installed the same exact way, both the driver and the passenger side. So if you wanna see how quick the process is, stick around. We wanna start with the front. So just make sure you have the right side. And this is gonna go in the channel that the window goes in. So roll up your window, see the little slot where it goes in, and that's where this is gonna be. So what we wanna do is start with the front, get it kinda of into that slot the best we can, like this. And then we're gonna to have to slowly kinda of bend this to get it up into place. And we kinda of gentle with it kind of lean it down, that seems to help a little bit. Kind of go up like this. I say to leave a gap right here, once it kind of gets into place. Then you want to go into the driver's side and we're just going to kind of roll it up, but we're going to do re really, really slowly just to make sure that nothing really bad happens. So just roll up your window. You can see how it's kind of pushing out. All right. All right, so now it's at least bypassing the window. So now after you do that a couple different times, we want to kind of hopefully take out that gap a little bit just by coming over, just pushing up a little bit like that. And then we're just kind of gonna go ahead and put it up and put it down about five different times, nice and slow. And five. So we're pretty much good there. Once that's done, you can do that same exact process on the other side. And that'll do it for a look at the WeatherTech rain guards.